it's about making sure that the thing that ultimately gets stored is actually uh, valuable, right? Which can mean sometimes more, sometimes less. I mean, sampling is inherently part of, of tracing just because every request technically could produce a trace. Um, so mm. if you're doing hundreds of thousands or millions of requests a day, that equates to hundreds of millions of traces. Um, so one approach most organizations take is referred to as head sampling, um, which is basically a sophisticated method of random sampling done mm -hmm. in the instrumentation. So up front, you're like, I just want a fraction of a percent of all my traces um, just due to straight volume. So you're kind of just like sample randomly and hope is the strategy, uh, <laughs> which is <laughs> which just doesn't sound very appealing. You're just hoping through sheer volume alone, like the unique and interesting ones are going to surface and be stored. Yeah. Um, but you're left still sifting through all that. Uh, so what Adaptive Traces does at Grafana Cloud is referred to as tail sampling, which is we wait and we collect all the spans or the, in, the individual components that make up a trace. We wait until we have what looks like a complete trace. And then we have policies that can evaluate the traces to see like, does this contain errors? Is this particularly long? Does this have these attributes for this team or this uh, namespace or so many different ways to look at it? Does it have this status code? You can look at all these attributes and then you can make a sampling decision then. Um, so you have a lot more power. So it turns, you kind of shift from sample randomly and hope to like intelligently sampling what actually has value to you. 